Hi everyone, uh, just thought I'd do another YouTube vid of my RPG collection. Seems to been some time since I I did the last one. I've had a few, fair few new RPGs since then, so I'll just go on I'll go along the uh, along the bookshelf of uh, what I've got. Uh, yeah, I got Advanced Fighting Fantasy, which. It's really great. I've started. I did start reading it. I haven't got back to it, but yeah, it's something I really am looking forward to playing. Hopefully, fairly soon. But um, I had them in the small of uh, the old editions of that. So yeah, that, that really is a really nice game and easy and very quick to set up and play. Uh, yeah, Strongholders Guidebook. Oh. Found, which I started uh, to read but actually never got round to uh, finishing it. Uh, it's probably got for about 40 odd pages or so. Uh, see Call of Cthulhu, then Traveller, Stargate uh, RPG, uh, which is a uh, 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 good read, but I don't know if I'll ever get round to play, uh, running it. Maybe, probably uh, run a f most of these at some point. Uh, yeah, Curbs, uh, Discworld, uh, Warehouse 23, Lensman, obviously, yeah, as I said, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, Games Master's Guide to, uh, to do with Earthdorn. Uh, I've got to get the player's handbook at some point, which will be getting soon. Traveller the New Era. Hunter the Vigil, which uh, a lot a lot of people like the uh, n newer editions of the White Wolf stuff. Um, I've, I read a bit of this and I, I thought Add some good background to it, uh, and the rules look okay. So I don't see anything seriously wrong with it. Not not with the hunter anyway. Uh, Rune quest. Uh, I brought actually that was a pain. I brought this uh, and I didn't really check. And the new edition came out literally months, a few months after. But never mind. Uh, well, that's not that's actually in the wrong place, but uh, yeah, that's a Battletech field uh, manual. Uh, Paranoia, which I've uh, I run a couple of games with it, but I just found it hard going. Uh, my main game, Pathfinder, which I'm just waiting for the third beastery. Which I really, really do enjoy Pathfinder, it's one of my favourite games. Really, I thought it was just a just fantastic game, all in all. Uh, I brought this and I got the Wild Talents E Collapse book. And I think I got the uh, somewhere uh, further on down is the main uh, book for that. That is a really great system, actually, the uh, Wild Talent system. So it's one dice roll, you find out pretty much. All you need to know with that dice roll so yeah I really do like the system to that and I'll be reading more to uh, in, into that at some point soon. Hollow Earth which I was going to run but I'm going to just back burn it and read more to do with the background as I said and really thoroughly read the uh, uh, rules. Uh, fourth edition, which I never really got into. I started looking at it. Uh, I didn't quite like what i seen with it. A mate of mine uh, didn't really hate it. Uh, the group just wasn't keen on it, so we didn't really bother playing it. But I'll have to give it a fair shot, actually, at some point, and at least try, try it running a game or something. But, uh, well, 5th edition's coming out as well, uh, at some point, but, which is a shame, but, yeah, just never really got into the 4th edition. Uh, Book of All Darkness, uh, second ed of uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, I'm actually after some of the other books, as I'm not sure about getting into the 3rd ed of that. Battle Lords, which I, I 
I've read and I thought uh, weren't too bad. The characters, uh, character classes as well, I thought was okay. And uh, some of it, yes, quite fun. Uh, the original uh, Deadlands, uh, the Marshall's Handbook, Fistful of Rock. Uh, there, and then it saw the few of the third ed stuff, including the uh, Forgotten Realms campaign settings. Uh, yeah, and then it goes to the, the some of these are my mates actually. That's why there's uh, two copies of uh, each. Uh, my first D and D book, The Rules uh, Encyclopedia, which I brought twenty odd years ago. Uh, yeah, Babylon Five. Uh, what else is there? There. Uh, oh. Say, uh, Urban Arcana, which I've run a few games and I found quite fun. Judge Dread. Uh, Holt Moon there. It's pretty modern, more traveller, Terra Prime, which I've also looked at and found it was really great. Uh, Wild Talent book, which is only seven quid, so I thought, yeah, that was a bargain. Uh, Klingon's D20, also I got quite cheaply, it was what, yeah, pretty cheap that one, can't remember how much I spent on that one. Uh, running out of time here because we've got a certain amount of time. Orpheus, and, uh, one of the older white wolf books, which is okay. Uh, Shadow Ran, Third Ed. Remember reading the original, which I thought was really great, and yeah, re read that one through. But I want to go and get the latest edition of that. Eventually, it will. Um, Yep, Seventh Sea, Brave New World, Gerbs, uh, Eternity's Dark Matters there, Silver Age Sentinels, Deadlands D20, uh, yeah, the Eternity books. Uh, that one I found was pretty good as well, Athenia. I really enjoyed reading that, and it's something I'd like to run as well. Plenty I'd like to run. Uh, that's it with the RPGs. Uh, pretty much virtually out of time. And so all that up below me is my wargaming stuff, which I'll quickly go through. There, I'll just sh show you quickly. Because I've only just had this uh, uh, shelves up. So I've put all my books there and got the Fight your fancy books there as well. Right, that's it. Until next time.